It's no secret that LG has been struggling with its smartphones for some time, but it's not giving up just yet. The Korean giant is betting on a new mobile strategy with the Velvet, which is a little odd given that it's actually a mid-range 5G phone. We managed to get hold of this Korean retail unit, and I have to say, I'm quite surprised by how much I like this phone, especially when I use it with the dual screen case. Let's take a closer look. The first thing you notice is that the Velvet has this refreshing look. I'm a fan of this raindrop camera layout on the back, which looks cleaner than all those camera islands on most smartphones these days. The color I got here is this low-key new black, which gives the phone a nice glossy ceramic-like finish. But if you prefer something more vibrant, there are other options. As soon as I picked up the Velvet, I was impressed by how slim and light it was, especially for a 5G phone of this size. It's just 7.9 millimeters thick and 180 grams heavy, but we still get a generous 6.8 inch OLED screen. In fact, it's exactly the same screen as the flagship V60. As a bonus, the edges on the left and right sides are tapered to help make the Velvet look even slimmer than it already is. LG managed to achieve this by partly using Qualcomm's Snapdragon 765G processor, which takes up less space by baking the 5G modem into the chipset. Unfortunately, LG still had to make do with a 4300mAh battery, which is a little small by today's standards. Still, I think LG made the right decision here. Keeping the Velvet slim and light allows it to make a stronger case for LG's dual screen design. This combo weighs 309 grams, which Sounds rather heavy for a phone, but you have to bear in mind that the V60 combo comes in at 350 grams. I'd much rather carry the Velvet here. As for the case itself, it's not that different to the ones made for the V60 and the G8X. The hinge holds well at any point between 0 and 360 degrees, so I can watch videos in laptop mode or tent mode. When closed, I can quickly peek at the small display for notifications, and I can even pick up calls directly by pressing the Google Assistant key here. One small annoyance here is that if you want to use wired charging, you will have to use this magnetic USB-C adapter. Otherwise, you'll have to rely on wireless charging of up to 10 watts, or you can just take the phone out. LG has kindly ported all the dual screen features from the flagship V60 to the Velvet. My favorite one here is the ability to set multi-app shortcuts, which let you launch two predefined apps on both screens with just a single tap. For me, I often have YouTube on the left and either Facebook or Twitter on the right, so I have a few related shortcuts on the home screen. LG also introduced some pre-made shortcuts such as Gallery with Camera, Gallery with QMemo Plus, and HD Audio Record with QMemo Plus, so these are all rather handy. Another nice dual screen feature is Wide View, which lets you stretch a single app across both screens. For now, this feature is only applicable to the core apps from Google, and I find that it only makes sense with Maps, Photos, Chrome, and maybe Gmail. You just have to bear with the wide gap between the two screens, of course. And like before, when you're using the camera app in dual screen mode, you can view photos on the secondary screen while retaining the viewfinder on the main screen. This may help you compose your next shot better. The rest of Velvet is very much a mid-range device with a few premium features. I won't bore you with the full list, but you do get an in-display fingerprint reader, micro SD expansion, stereo speakers, and IP68 protection against dust and liquids. Oh, and just like all flagship phones from LG, you still get a headphone jack at the bottom, but you do miss out on the quad DAC this time. As for the cameras, I can't say I was particularly impressed. The photos that came out from the 48 megapixel main camera and the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera were over sharpened and details were lost, especially when taken indoors. I suppose they're okay for a mid range phone, but then again, LG is facing tough competition these days. Luckily, my selfies came out fine from the 16 megapixel front camera. And to LG's credit, it does provide cool video recording features like ASMR recording, voice focusing, and 4K time lapse. Now, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the mid-range processor, but I did experience laggy scrolling on my Velvet, and apparently I'm not alone. Hopefully this is something that LG can fix via a software update. Overall, I do think the Velvet makes a strong case for dual screen smartphones, maybe more so than the chunkier V60. It's the next best thing to a foldable phone. At least you only have to pay $700 instead of, say, $2,000 for the Samsung Galaxy Fold, which is more fragile as well, by the way. If LG could fix those touch issues and maybe even throw in the dual screen case for free, 
then the Velvet could be a fun option that's not entirely gimmicky. It's also headed to Europe and the US, so do keep an eye out for it at the shops. What do you think of the LG Velvet and its dual screen case? Leave us a comment below, and as always, hit subscribe for the latest tech news from Engadget.